Hey everyone, Mango Seven Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic Seven. Uh, today we're going to talk about the sanctuary and where to spend our precious coins there. We also have the limited Rising Star Pack just staring at us, laughing with how much it costs us. But one good way to get stuff like that pack a little cheaper is through our sponsor of the day, Amazon Coins. This episode is brought to you by Amazon Coins and Prime Day 2019. On July 15th and 16th, Prime Day is coming and there will be deep discounts for some of your favorite mobile games like Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, Hearthstone, Alchemist Code, Summoner's War, and Marvel Strike Force. And to help you get ready starting July 8th, you can get 50 bucks in Amazon Coins for only 35 with Amazon's latest deal. So if you're playing any of these games and want to get more in-game currency, make sure to use your Amazon coins on Prime Day to save even more money. You can click the link in the description below for more details and be sure to stock up and check out what other games are on the Amazon App Store. Uh, this deal is only available in the US, unfortunately, but Amazon coins themselves are available in the US, the UK, Germany, Spain, France, and Japan. Okay, so let's take a look at our sanctuary here and talk about where we're gonna put our upgrades into uh, our buildings with our Breath of Orbis. So I'm gonna try to go in order. You should put them in as a new player, I think. Um, I'm really unsure of when you really are gonna get the values out of Alchemist Steeple, but in general, um, around this order should be pretty important since you get the first batch right at the start. So Heart of Orbis is really, really important. You got so much gold and so many sky stones um, just from the passiveness of this building. I have mine at 133, and the reason why I only have one on the left side is because I just never really cap outside of when I go to sleep, and that's not worth the extra Heart of Orbis, especially now with um, the additional Alchemist Steeple we have. So I definitely would never go more than one on the left side, but I absolutely 100% would get three and three on the right. Those are must-haves for any player, unless you are like a billion dollar spender. Um, that's the only person I can see skipping that. Um, so next up we have the Forest of Souls, and this was the saddest thing for me to see go. Uh, I personally really like 033 on our Forest of Souls. Uh, the, sec er, the second middle upgrade here uh, allows you to do three at a time. This is probably the first thing you should upgrade in your entire sanctuary. The right one makes it take 15% less time to upgrade, and what this means is um, if a, a stigma thing takes 100 to upgrade um, very quickly, like if we go to uh, instant complete here, this one takes 188 right now. Had we had the 15% time off, it would take 15% less materials than this because it would have um, that much less time on it. So it saves so much stigma. Also, the left one, the probability blessing there is great for people who like to put in penguins, but I personally like using Phantasm instead, so I kind of ignore that one for now. But if you are the person who loves penguins, just do that one instead, but I, I, I don't recommend it. Um, also, you're probably going to have to take some out of time blessing or probability blessing if you're an endgame player because we just got a new building that takes nine more flippin' orbits. Um, so what I did was spend all of my stigma and just went with 030 and then I'm going to save all of my stigma for the next like two months or something like that until we get more Breath of Orbis and not spend a single bit of it until I can upgrade this Time's Blessing and then just go absolutely ham on it um, once I do. So that's my plan. I just plan to not touch this stupid question mark being light up. I just plan to not touch this until I get those three points because we will get more Breath of Orbis soon, I think. I hope we better. Uh, we also have the high command here. Uh, I like 111. It's one of the most important buildings, if not the most important building. But anything more than 111 is just a complete waste. You can kind of get away with less too if you really want to do specific missions. But 111 is the most convenient and the, the best IMO. You have two options. Uh, you can do the four hour missions, which is what I do. Uh, I forget the names of them, but they're here. We can probably click on them to see. Forgotten King's Hideout and whatever this one is here, Northern Messenger Chase. But if you are uh, a trier, you know, if, if you're the, the person who really likes to get your efficiency going, um, you want to do trap removal at a two hours, and you also want to do sponsor party preparations at two hours. Those will be better rewards, uh, less stamina than the four hour ones that I'm doing right now. 
but it's just um, a little more annoying to deal with those, so that's why I went with a four hour instead. Next up is the Steel Workshop. This should probably be the last thing you do, or close to last thing you do. And um, that's because you don't really need to use this until you hit 85 gear, unless you're doing one of those guide missions. So I would just save up all your materials until you start getting an abundance of Abyss Drake Claws and the other things like that, and then put in your final um, Breath of Orbises into this building to get up to 333. 333 is non-negotiable. It takes up so much gold um, and you get so many more resources back and you get so much more chances of gear. 100% non-negotiable. You need this 333 when you get to 85 gear. And finally, the All-Star, the Alchemist Steeple is just insane. The best building we have now. I just love it so much. We get so many catalysts. It's insane how many catalysts we get. Um, I have my setup as 233 right now, although I'm not entirely sold on it. The, the middle needs to be upgraded to 3, that's a thing that has to happen. Um, ingredient storage needs to go to at least 2. And IMO Alchemy Academy should be max, because at the next stage we get 10% back up to 30%, or 20%, I'm sorry, uh, back for gold there, which is just huge when you use it every single week so many times. But I think if you only do two out of three on your second storage, it doesn't take any more ingredients to make an epic catalyst. Uh, for example, right now it takes me 14 to return three demon blood gems. But if we go down to 13 here, you can see we're still basically right at the end there. And 12 goes down to here. So had we made it to two out of three, we would still have that finished product. Um, fully epic. I'm not sure if it goes the same with uh, crafting materials or charms, but those ones matter basically nothing compared to these catalysts. So if you're really trying to get a little bit extra out of your um, Breath of Orbis, I would go 3-3-2 three, three, instead of 2-3-3. Three, three. Uh, you should be getting some more Breath of Orbises, maybe even by the time you're watching this video. And I would first put them into here for the Alchemist Steeple, just to get it 333 max so I don't have to worry about it. And after that, I would put all three into Forest of Souls on the right side here. And then after that, I would probably just put them on the left side, uh, but hopefully we have another building by the time we get that many Breath of Orbises. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and have a wonderful day. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, everybody.